everybody uh, welcome to my channel Nama N my name is Lynn and if you're new a very warm welcome to you and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much uh, on today's video I'm going to try and recreate a meal that a friend and I had when we went for lunch one day and they called it chicken sizzler and all it was was pieces of chicken and uh, a couple of different coloured uh, bell peppers and uh, onion in a sweet chilli sauce and they served it with um, a side of chips and it was really really good so I'm going to try and recreate it so <laughs> I've never made it before and I don't even know really what I'm doing but I'm going to try so I thought I'd uh, bring you with me and if it's successful I'll upload this video and if it's not I won't <laughs> simple as that so Let's get cracking. I'll bring you over. So, I've got my chicken, diced chicken breast. I'm going to use that that I got from Tesco the other day. This might be added on to the end of another um, video or vlog. I don't know because I have no idea how long it's going to take. But I don't think it'll take long. So, I'm going to put my frying pan on the heat, warm it up. And first of all, I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to brown off the chicken first. So I'm going to put some olive oil in the pan, get that hot, get it sizzling, and then uh, I'll put the chicken in. So I'll get some... Uh, no, I won't. Yeah, well, I'll get some tongs. <laughs> I love to try new things. And it doesn't really faze me. Um, like, I, I, I don't practice or anything. I just get going on it. Just give it a go. You know, that's all you need to do. doesn't matter, does it? I like chicken. I like peppers. I like onions. What can go wrong, really? Might not taste like the one in the cafe, but it... I think it'll taste good. So there, we've got a bit of a sizzle going now. So I'll turn you down and then you can watch what I'm doing. Woo! Nearly tip you over. So in goes my chicken pieces. Try and make sure that it's not all the full, the pan, separate everything, and get some colour on it. So I'll get some colour on this chicken and then I'll bring you back. So as you can see, I've got a nice bit of colour on there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that chicken out. It's not fully cooked through, I don't think, but I just want to take it out. We'll be going back in after. Because I want to start frying the, the onions and the peppers. And then I'll put them all back in to cook a bit more. So... Yeah, that's the chicken out. And now I'll put the onions and the peppers in. So I've just diced up some, uh, well, cut into strips, some red onion. I did this on the prep video, if you remember. So I've just took it out of the freezer, uh, let it defrost, drained it in a sieve. Um, and just ready to go. Simple. So now I'll turn that up. Give it a good flash fry. Make sure it's coated. I've got some uh, boiling water on the go here and I'm going to put some broccoli in. Okay. 
and so that I don't forget it, I'm going to put a timer on uh, for 10 minutes for the broccoli. Oh, this is smelling delicious, honestly. Let this fry off a little bit and then I'll bring you back. Sorry about the noise, I've got the air fryer on just to stir fry some a few chips. So I've got some brown now on the peppers and the onions and charged it. So I'm going to put the chicken back in. down now to a low medium got mine on five and I'm going to pour in some sweet chili sauce everything else is cooked just to make sure that the chicken is nice and soft and tender. So, woo, fingers crossed. The broccoli's got just less than five minutes to go. So, as soon as the chips are ready and this is cooked and the broccoli's cooked, I'll plate it up, show you what it looks like. <laughs> it's looking and smelling good though. I mean, now I'm not really a sweet chilli person, but as soon as I had that sizzler last week with my friend, I was converted. So, yeah, I might have to do a bit more sweet chilli food. I'll bring you back when I plate it up. I keep getting marks all over the look. No reason whatsoever. I've massive bruises on the arm here, honestly. I'm a mess. Anyway, um, I'll just tell you a little story. When was it? When I went to Tesco the other day, I got in my car and I could smell. If, if ever you've had um, a cloth that you've left damp uh, to dry by itself, that horrible, horrible, oaky smell that you get. Well, I'll just bring you over here a bit away from that air fryer a little bit. Well, I got in my car and I could smell that smell. Anyway, I had been to do a little bit of cleaning for somebody um, the week before and I'd left the cleaning bag in the boot of my car. So I thought, I wonder if I'd left a damp cloth in there, which it would, it's not like me, but I thought I might have done. So anyway, I took the cloths out of the bag and I threw them in the bin. Anyway, made no difference whatsoever. Anyway, um, where did I go? I went somewhere yesterday. No, it was when I did the Tesco shop. And when I come back, I thought, I'll have to find where this smell's coming from. And I touched the carpet at the back of the driver's seat in the well at the bottom. I pushed it down and water came up, absolutely wet through. I thought, well, I haven't spilt anything. Where has that come from? 
anyway um, oh have you had a look at it and he said well it's dry everywhere else and you know like you would think if it were coming in through a window that the carpet down the side of the you know are you getting coming down like that bone dry everything was bone dry but the well in the bottom anyway i got in it this morning to go somewhere and i just thought i'll just check the front where i say where i drive push that down and that was wet through as well so i said we'll have to take it in anyway we have a friend that's got a garage so we rang him up this afternoon and he said bring it down i'll just have a quick look at it see if i can find out where it's coming in anyway when they emptied my boot i have a i don't know whether you've ever seen them or not but it's like a right big plastic bag that fits into your boot stops all your boot getting dirty and i've had one one in that car for years anyway they took that out took the wet took the bit where the spare wheel it should be out and it was full of water full of water and our drive is on a slope like that so what they think is that's the broccoli just a minute the broccoli Woo, i'll come back i don't like the broccoli overcooked and i like it really vivid green Anyway, they've had a look and seemingly they think that it's coming in through the back lights and because the, the uh, drive is on a, on a tilt like that and I drive inwards, it's the front's down like that. So they think the water's coming from the back and seeping through into the front. So anyway, they've drilled some holes where the water's coming in, took the lights out, resealed them back in where they think the water's coming in and it's just a case of I have to wait now for it to dry out and it absolutely pongs. I don't know what to do, but they said you just have to leave it and it'll dry out on its own. But I am now got to reverse down so that it's tilting that way instead, you know what I mean? So instead of running into the front, it's going to run out of the back where the holes are. And hopefully once it's dried, it should have cured it if it's coming in where they thought it was coming in, which is through the back lights. So that has been my drama. Another one. There's always a drama in this house. Anyway, my tea's nearly ready. Look. Can you see on the air fryer? One minute 38 for the chips. Because that's how they served it. They didn't serve broccoli with it, but I think they served a bit of a side salad. They might not have even served anything, but I wanted some broccoli because I'm into my greens. I love broccoli. So yeah, as soon as that pings and stops, I shall plate it up, show you what it looks like, and then do a taste test. Fingers crossed. It's a good. Mm -hmm. Bring it back. Okay, I'm showing it you now. Can you see? Ooh. Look at that. I'll turn it down and show you. It's a big, it's a, I've done too big a portion, I know I have. But anyway, I'll show it you. Look at that. Does that look delicious? And the chicken is perfect. Look. So I'll lift you back up now that you've seen it and I'll do a little taste test. Tell you what it's like. Oh, I hope it's nice. All right, so got some chicken, some peppers, and some broccoli. Mmm. It's exactly the same. I'm not joking. Wow. Let's have it with a chip. Come on, then, get some chip. Some of that pepper and onion. Chili sauce. Mmm. Can't get easier than that. Proper. 
Hani yap. Delicious. All it is is that. Sweet chili sauce. Warmed up in your pan with your peppers, your onions and your chicken. Serve it with whatever you like. You could serve it with rice. Couldn't you? Anything. Couscous. Quinoa. <laughs> whatever you choose. It's absolutely, honestly, it's delicious. I can't get over that. Because I only guessed it all. But really, I mean, you can't really go wrong, can you, with that? Mmm. So, I am now going to go save some for when he comes home, Arve, his tea. I'm going to go and enjoy mine now. Mmm. It's got a little kick to it because of the chilli, but it's not too hot. Thai dragon. I got mine from Tesco. Beautiful. So, honestly, it gets a thumbs up from me. If you like anything sweet chilli type meal, that is delicious. And you could do it with anything, couldn't you? You could do it with strips of beef, strips of pork, fish, even salmon. I bet salmon's nice. Mm, yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? So, yeah. That is going to be one of my faves. Try it. Nice tea. I kicked that up in less than 15 minutes. I should do a Jamie Oliver 15 minute meals. <laughs> it was less than 15 minutes. So I'm going to enjoy it now. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Well, I have to say, honestly, that was absolutely de delicious. I finished mine. And I've got that ready for it to warm up. And I'll just do some fresh chips and some fresh veg to go with it. So, this video is now long enough so on its own, in its own right. So, I'm not going to add it to anything else. Um, I'll just leave it at this. And um, I'd like to say a massive thank you if you've watched till the end. I really do hope you try it if you like anything sweet chilli tasting. Because um, it, you can't get much easier than that. You can knock that up for your family um, in less than 15 minutes. So, mm. thank you for watching. Please, would you give me a thumbs up or leave me a heart in the comments section? You don't need to write a lot. And um, share it with your friends if you think one of your friends might want to make it. And uh, what else? Subscribe if you're not already. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, I will see you on the next one. So, take care of yourselves. And bye for now. Bye-bye.